In this opening session, we're going to talk about techniques that we can use to mine for data. Open in front of me, I have a document called payroll.xlsx. This is one of the example files that you can download if you wish to follow along with me or practice after you sit back and relax and enjoy the show. Practice those skills that you're developing here. Take a look at this data. This is, this is a pretty common list or what you might refer to as a table inside of Excel. I've got detailed records. On the screen, you only see so many of them. I got about 24, 25 lines of payroll information on a variety of employees. Whether this list or table is 20 records long, or a few hundred, or even a few thousand records long, I want to be able to report off of this detailed information. So let's think about this for a moment. What might be something you would do with this data? How can you make it more efficient for you to report off of? Let's take a look at a few examples here. Maybe you're going to create groups. I want to get into here and take advantage of this natural data, this, this raw data, and create groups out of it, make it more accessible, allow me to report off of specific data. Natural groups that might occur inside of this list might be groups based on department. I've got the department column in here, sales, development, staff, research, and so on, where I can create some natural groups based off of this data. Let's get all the salespeople together. Let's get all the development department together. Let's get all the staff together, and so on. I could do the same thing based on division, right next door to department. I want to get all the, the employees that are in the division of Connecticut, get them all grouped together, get all the main records together, and so on. So I've got some natural groups that just intrinsically are built into this data set. Then I've also got perhaps more implied groups or groups that we can derive out of this data set here. Taking a look at the gross pay column, it may not look, at, at least first blush here, it may not look like something you would group off of. But we can group off of this. We can derive groups out of this gross pay column. I want to get all the employees that make more than $600 for gross pay. Let's get them together inside of one group. Let's get all the, the individuals between 400 and 599, put them into another group, and so on. So we can imply some groups into this data here whether it's natural or implied, where we can derive it, we can group based off this data. What else can we do with this data? We can run calculations on the data. We can maybe run sums on gross pay and get back to those groups once again. I can sum up gross pay for the entire company, all of the payroll information we have here, or I can do it based on a group. Maybe we're gonna sort the data. Let's make it more accessible for us and for our users to get in here and find the data that they're looking for. Imagine the phone book with me. If the phone book was never sorted, would you have ever used it? It would have taken me all day just to find something if it wasn't sorted. We put something in a specific sort to make it easier, more manageable, make it easier to find that data. Maybe you're gonna create subtotals. We talked about that a little bit. We create groups based on department or division or derive some groups such as gross pay or benefits and so on. And then we can create subtotals, gross pay subtotal based on a group. So what are some other things that you can think of? What would be some other techniques that you can use to build it to summarize or look for data inside of this table here? We're going to try out a few techniques. Let's get into our first one. We're going to talk about the VLOOKUP. 